This is a graph of the demographic transition. It's a big part of the population chapter. And let's make sure that we don't miss the forest for the trees. When it's talking about the transition, it's a transition from a rural agrarian past to an urban industrial future. So it's this movement off of the farm into the cities. That, that's the transition that we're talking about. And it's an, a, a transition from an agricultural society to an industrial society. And it has taken all countries hundreds of years to go through these four stages. So prior to this urbanization and industrialization, there was the putting out system. So people on horseback would ride out into the countryside and they would take raw materials and they would drop it off to the families and then they would, would return later and pick up the finished product. Um, one of the problems with that is that there was no quality control and there's no economy of scale and there's many other problems. So in any event, what happened was this putting out system transformed itself into the industrial economy and with industrialization cities emerge. So what you have in stage one, this would be stage one over here, you have uh, low growth because the deaths and births are high, but they are offsetting one another. Then you get to stage two, this is stage two, and it's a high growth area, and one reason that the death rate could have fallen might have been because of the medical revolution. So. Uh, countries like the United States give out uh, drugs like antibiotics to uh, folks in Africa and that has an immediate effect that, uh, on, on death rates. The birth rate stays the same. Notice that what's happening here in stage two. It's uh, birth, crude birth rates are not dropping and the reason they're not is because um, that decision is a cultural decision and you, you have to look at it from their standpoint, you know, they're in an agricultural society, there's no social security, uh, it doesn't cost much to have a baby, uh, your kids can help you with agriculture, and you know that if you have six kids, you know two of them are going to die, so you need those uh, four to live uh, to help you in your old age for your social security, because you're living in a society that has a high death rate. Um, stage two, you have a wildly expanding population, so population is expanding at an increasing rate. When you come over here to stage three, look, look what has begun to happen. The death rate is falling continually, but the birth rate has really started to decline. And so population in this region, this stage three region, it's increasing, but it's increasing at a decreasing rate. Um, that's kind of economic terminology that is used all the time and my analogy is if I'm entering the interstate I go from 0 to 50 real real fast but then going from 50 to 65 I'm increasing from 50 to 65 but I'm not accelerating as fast as I was from 0 to 50 so that's sort of what's going on here in stage 3 population is increasing but it's not increasing as fast as it was back in uh, stage 2 here we are in stage four, and that's low growth. The births and deaths are equal, but they are lower. And if we used England, England would be a good example because they've had a thousand years of recorded history. Their boundaries haven't changed very much, and migration hasn't been too important. So, so in England, stage one, the low growth of England was in the stage one until about 1750. And then from about 1750 to 1800, they were in this stage two. So that was the high growth. That was the Industrial Revolution. And with the beginning of that Industrial Revolution, you had a, a big increase in wealth. And some of that wealth was used to improve sanitation in the cities. And of course, that would help to increase population. So by the time you get to stage three, they consider that somewhere between the 1880s and the 1970s. Listen to these figures. In the 19th century, the crude birth rate was around 33 and the crude death rate was around 19. Compare that to after 1880. The crude birth rate comes down to 18 from 33 and the crude death rate comes down to 12 from 19. 
So during that period of time, from the 1880s to the 1970s, so almost 100 years, about 90 years, the pop England's population increased from 26 million to 49 million. And now in stage four, uh, it's considered after uh, 1970 England entered that, now their crude birth rate is in the 12 to 14 range, and the crude death rate is in the 10 to 12 range. So in 1750, England had 6 million people, and now she has about 50 million people, and uh, the population is growing at a, a, a very slow rate. So this is the, the mechanics of the demographic transition, and it will be closely related to the population pyramids or age pyramids, which we'll also be talking about.